Did our plan have to include shooting Frank in the leg? Hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Oh, 
there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. All so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Oops, bad code. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it would. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal.
And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Okay, let's find out whose car this is. Why the hell are you following these people? And that's definitely Chloe's car. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. That beach is like Frank's main... Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit. 
shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn.